Hello everyone. Welcome to another endgame study. In this position, it is white to move. And as you notice, this black pawn is about to become a queen with check. So white to move, as always, pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and when you're ready, uh, unpause and we'll try to solve this one together. So what the heck is going on here? Huh. Um, I mean, I see one important idea. If, if d3, if king to f3, rook d4, queen, rook f4. Um, if king to f5, same thing, followed by rook f4, and then at the end we make a queen. For example, take e6, take f7. Um, the only thing is if b3 is fast enough, but I highly doubt it, it should be winning for us. Uh, it's not super simple though, actually. Maybe it's not winning. That's interesting. That's annoying because... I had it narrowed down to where black could only go here, which when you have when you have it so they can only make one move, that's like usually a good situation in an endgame study. But if they can make two moves that are both hard to deal with, then it's a bit annoying. So I gotta um, let me just double check. If I can't beat this move easily, it's gonna be tough. I mean, maybe I could just go e6 here. That looks a little somehow wrong to me. All right, let's let's figure out in this position what the heck to do. Hmm. Uh, if we go e6, they queen with check. We can go d3 check. They move the king somewhere. We go e7, but it just doesn't feel right to me. Oh boy, so what what could the answer be exactly? Having some trouble here. Huh. Let me think one second. Man, I'm having trouble. All right. Uh, first, I don't even know if we're winning or drawing. And that's another. Uh, I think we should be able to draw easily. Because if you queen d3 and then e7 should draw. However, there's one slight problem. If if e6, you could take. It's hard to believe though. Yeah, I mean, there's no way this, this can... It must be white to play and win somehow. Just having some difficulties figuring out what the heck to do. Honestly, I don't even have an idea. Um, no ideas here. If d3, king e5... Oh boy, I'm just not not seeing anything, guys. Once once five to six minutes is up, I just quit. Uh, I don't like to spend too long anymore. I've been doing that lately, but I want to keep these videos nice and sweet. And if I can't solve it in five minutes, then I lose. So let's focus really hard for like one more minute or so. If I can't even find like candidate moves though. First, let me double check that I have the right position. One last time, just in case. Okay, I do seem to have the correct position. <clears throat> um, boy, oh man, I just don't know. It's tough because I, I don't even have an idea. Like, 
maybe we're trying to draw and like e6 is the move and then after take we have to figure out how to draw which seems like it should be easy like d3 this is the only move otherwise f7 and hold on a second here I mean a bishop f4 is Oh, oh, then you can go rook king takes f6. Un momento, por favor. This just doesn't seem... doesn't seem scary, though. I mean, obviously, I can't lose this. Let me just check one thing. If they queen, and we go d3, and they go, like, king e5, and we go, like, pawn takes pawn. Is this just winning for us? Maybe. So like maybe the answer is e6, they have to take, and then we have to find some good move here. Um, I'm just gonna look at this for one more second, because it's like a new idea. Mm. Let's start with this move. King e5 is the only move. And now there should it just feels like there's something good here. The king the king barely has any squares. Um, uh, probably like like bishop f4. If king f5, we queen the pawn with check, and if king takes pawn, like rook to rook to d8. If he queens, we check this way bishop h6. This way bishop d6. That's all I got. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna just check if that's the right answer. Yeah, it looks like it is right. Hey, what was my okay bishop f4? I'm just checking it off screen. Yeah, it looks like I actually did come up with the right answer. And white is winning after e6. Okay, so that took a took a while, but I just just about got it. Um, the point is if queen uh, e pawn takes pawn just wins. Sorry, d3 check followed by pawn takes pawn. So if he makes a queen, check, king up, pawn takes pawn. We're up a rook. We're going to make a queen. He can't stop it. If he takes our rook, we queen with check. And we're just winning. So therefore, the only move after this is pawn takes e6. At which point, we go d3. If the king goes to the f-file, f7, and we queen with check. The only move is king e5, and then this move. Trying to get the king to the f-file, because again, if king f5 or king f4, we go f7, and we queen with check. Instead, he does this, and now we have this cool move. Um, and after rook d8, if king, if king g7, just bishop to h6, for example, followed by rook f8. If king f7, same thing, bishop h6, and if he makes a queen, just rook f8. And it's a cool little position. If he goes to e7, bishop d6 wins. If he goes to g7, bishop h6 wins. So... A cool, t uh, a cool study there. It was a little tough for me because I, for some reason, I just couldn't get a handle on the fact that we were winning easily if e6, f1, queen. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, bye.